Now I just people that make thousands of dollars doing this. But I did want to show you guys like ways that I am, you know, increasing my revenue and you know, just making sure that I make a return on all of my investments. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. I am Katrina and you're watching all things Katrina Renee. In today's video, I am actually going to be selling off some of my clays. And if you don't know what my clays are, which I don't think I really have ever talked about them, but I have like thousands of clays, <laughs> literally thousands of clays. And they are the small bow centers that I use for my bows. They're actually quite the investment. Um, I will show you now to give you kind of an idea of what it is. Here we go. So look at my bows. These little centerpieces here are clays. So I have like the Woody, and then I have like Andy, or whoever it is. I don't know who these girls are. I have my trolls, how cute are they? I got my little tigers here. So these little centerpieces are considered clays, you guys. And when I say they're an investment, they really are. I spend anywhere between three to seven dollars per per piece at one point i was just buying clays like crazy every day um but some clays i've noticed like when you buy these clays from these part these people you have to buy them in lots and lots just mean they're grouping them together whatever clays they want and you may find the ones that you like but in order to get the ones you like you have to buy the entire lot so that's actually how i ended up with literally thousands of clays um however um, I'm not giving up plays entirely, but what I am doing is selling the pieces that I got that I did not really want for myself. I have since sourced my own vendor from, um, the Philippines and she is doing an amazing job on my stuff. Um, it is a process because it is like, I've been on the waiting list for her since August and my month for her to work on my inventory was in January and we are coming into April and I still don't have my pieces, but she is in constant communication with me, which is really good. Um, everything looks really amazing and I am literally spending $2 per clay and you can resell these clays for anywhere between, like I said, three to $7. I put up a few lots on sale on my Facebook page or in this Facebook D stash group. And I've just like put them in different lots. I'll show you the pictures as I'm talking to y'all. Um, and people have start claiming. So I'm gonna start packaging those orders up to send them the clays that I don't necessarily need or want or have too many of. This area right here is where I keep my clays. I'm gonna show you all that. I basically went through these little jars and they're pretty much almost empty now because I've gotten rid of so many to make room for the ones I have coming. So now I have to go through these clays and grab basically the ones I'm gonna be um, getting rid of. And luckily for me, I kept the actual boxes that um, the clays I used to order would come in. And so I'm gonna use these boxes, reuse these boxes and ship off orders that came from that oops they come in for me so i have to bubble wrap everything now to make sure that they get them you know safe and sound um and all that good stuff so it's one of the many things that i'm getting ready to do, to do today to keep myself busy is get these orders packaged up and shipped out to people and make sure that i'm invoicing people properly for the clays honey because Katrina is always about trying to make that mighty dollar. So let me go get these babies, wrap them up so they can make it home to their new mommies, <laughs> safe and sound. And the boxes I was telling y'all about that I get to reuse. And bubble wrap, which I bought this for my bows because these bows do have clays on them and I don't want my clays to break. So I bought bubble wrap for my bows for when I package those up. These are actually sold at market. I had some of them on my Etsy site, but my masks were just doing way better than I could have imagined. And so it just made sense for me to keep selling the masks only. Now I have to go through and individually wrap every last piece. So that they don't break but yeah i ended up not i ended up stop selling the mat the bows on my etsy shop 
I still have my website, KatrinaRenee'sPlace.com, which is where the bows will be back up for sale shortly. But I'm doing a couple things right now because I am updating and adding certain things. So it's not gonna just be under Katrina Renee's Place. I actually have a DBA now because I still am gonna be, you know, Katrina Renee's Place, but I'm gonna be doing a DBA for my hair bows, headbands, scrunchies, accessories, and it's gonna be catered to more than just children. It's gonna be catered to women and children. It's so funny when you sell these lots and they just sit there and then people wake up and realize like, oh my God, they have a, a D-stash sale. I got nothing. And they're like, oh my God, nice lot or break this up. Y'all, I know this is really crazy. This is something that Charles probably, he knows now, <laughs> but this is something that Charles probably didn't even realize I, would, I was doing. Well, no, he knows now, but in the beginning, he was like, dang, you know, you got so many clays, but I don't think he realized how much money I was actually spending on just clays alone. And I didn't even add this into my taxes. So I didn't even get any tax breaks from these dang on clays when I spent thousands of dollars on clays, literally. However, um, because I do need these things, well, because it is pertinent to my business, I needed to find my own vendor. So. I'm glad I did and she is amazing. I sh I'm gonna show you actually some of her work. Hold on. <sighs> Again, the processing times are a little bit much, but y'all look at this. I wanted gremlins. Y'all remember the gremlins or whatever. She never, she has to paint these still, but look how cute the gremlins are. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at those babies. She's working on a Billie Eilish clay for me. I'm excited about that clay. I got these little like, Statue of Liberty Clays. Um, my little girls with the big eyes. Look how cute they are. What got me wanting to do the clays is because I noticed when I was buying all these clays in these clay groups, it was really hard to come by brown girls. Um, and I don't want just brown girls, I want all girls. And so since it's easy to have access to all girls, I figured I'm gonna get some brown girls and you know different color girls, but I want the option for brown girls to be there as well. Look at these. Look, look at that. Like how freaking cute is that? So I thought that was a great opportunity for me to kind of tap into the market and provide not just like, you know, I wanted all girls to be represented. So I'm actually quite excited about it. Oh, this is another one. Look. So I have this print out or whatever on my for my bows, but I didn't have any clays with it. So I was like, let me order some of those too. That's from the How to Train How to Train Your Dragon. But anyway, I've rambled enough. Let me go ahead and start packaging and putting together the orders for everybody who has already paid. Maybe only got one. Let me see, sorry. Yeah, she only got that one. All right, so this is the first lot that I sold. Now this was actually a mix of shakers like little cow shakers and little pumpkins. By the time I put this cow up though, it was already too late because I had the bright idea to just make it into like a hair clip instead of putting it on a hair bow. And now I'm sad that I sold that, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this packaged up for her. Now, now I'm probably gonna be going to find the dang on shakers. Where did I put these shakers at? These are little cow shakers. And I was like, oh man, I should have put it on a clip, a hair clip, and little girls could have worn them in their hair like that versus in the middle of a ball. But I'll let them decide what they want to do with that now. Y'all, this look like toys. I know this look real crazy. But everything that I have in this thing's up, except for my cocoa melons. My cocoa melons ain't going to work because I am going to add that to my site whenever I'm back. Three. And I have one more cow. Four. And all you do is take some of this, honey. Roll it, roll it again. Look, look, two of these little pretty things. Um, these are just too big for the bows that I make, so I didn't really have much to do with them, and I don't know about having clays as like just like a little hair bow, but this is super freaking pretty. Okay, so y'all see how I said I was reusing? But look, the person who sent it to me reused it too. That's what we do, we just reuse everything. I listen, I'm putting a business card in my orders with my information on it, put my information on there. Got my social medias on there. So I bubble wrap them, and now I'm gonna put them inside of these bags here. So just for that added protection in the little bag, bloop, bloop, bloop. Okay, so my next lot that I sold was this lot. Y'all, this one right here, this pretty little Elsa on a horse. 
look at her it's a brown elsa with a brown elf how pretty and then it has the two little like round trip tickets for polar express what i do a lot of times is i'll throw like this is a christmas lot for sure but i knew that i also wanted to get rid of her because it's just one of her and i can't do anything with her um or make like a plain one-off bow um and she's still really pretty so i put her in this lot that i knew would go so now i'm gonna package this one up and get it out the dough I like those people that make thousands of dollars doing this. That's another part that I don't really talk about when it comes to stuff. Um, I'm learning that I like to do a lot of things. And so a lot of stuff is just not meant for me to discuss with the public, but y'all family. So, you know, I tell you everything I be trying to do, honey. Okay, got these two packaged up, ready to go. Okay, this is the third or the second lot that this woman bought. And it's basically the Elsa and Anna lot. I think this is such a cute lot. A lot of, like, I really did hate to get rid of these clays, but they just aren't, I needed to make room. And I already had, if I give it away, if I've sold a clay, I probably have another one for it. But these were so cute, you guys. This is the other order. So this is the Elsa lot and the Christmas lot. They all fit perfectly in this box. This is the other lot that I sold. It is um like the freddy krueger the chucky um man everybody beetlejuice yoda edward scissorhands jason the scream guy um so i'm about to package that one up right now too the next lot is going to be these little clays here that i got um i just called the vampirina slash princess lot it's six of them and i went for 18 dollars so i'm gonna pack these up now this lady got like four lots though, so I'm gonna be packing up, packaging up multiple lots for her and putting it in a bigger box. Okay, the next lot I got is the, it's like a Princess and the Frog, Moana, two flamingos, and then these little like farm animals or foxes and like a farm animal. On this one, somebody responded first and said that they wanted, they'll take the Moana only if I'm splitting the lot. And I just noticed in this, you know, field that if you don't split the lot, you have a better chance of selling the actual lot. So I passed her up and just waited and then somebody claimed the entire lot. So instead of making maybe three fifty or four dollars, I made twenty one dollars off that lot. Okay, so this order was bigger than the others. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, ooh, six pieces, but it's probably like two, four, eight. 16 19 like 25 pieces in that little bucket alone so i i'm going to have to put them in this box here but i'm about to go upstairs and get a little box let's go upstairs and get a little box this box okay my little first round of shipping out my over Abundance of clays is ready to roll out. I did use my new Katrina Renee's Place tape, which is not terribly new. I've been having it for a while, but uh, it was exciting to use it. So I'm done with the clays. Now I have to get to my orders, which I'm not gonna put that in this video. I just wanted y'all to see me package up, you know, some clays. I told you I had to make me some extra streams of income. Well guys, I know this was a short and impromptu video, but I did want to show you guys like ways that I am, you know, increasing my revenue and, you know, just making sure that I make a return on all of my investments by reselling some of the clays that I bought that I know that I will not use. And I may even go through again and do like another clean out, but I think for now, everything that I'm keeping, I want to definitely keep. Um, things that didn't sell, there are still plenty of lots available. Of course, I'm like, I don't know what this is, but... I'm still gonna work on getting the rest of those sold to see how we do. But those four boxes netted me just about two under just under two hundred dollars. So I'm excited about that. I got more to go. So I think the quant the quality or the what do you call that when something is worth it? The value of all the clays I'm selling is like five hundred and ninety three. So I'm trying to see how much how close to that number I can get. And that's just the value that I've priced them at. So. You know anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed this video make sure you are already subscribed to the channel if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe click the notification bell as well so you're notified every time i upload a video in the meantime it was time till the next time